Hello! Today has been a long day. Time to sit back, relax, and solve some math problems with a refreshing glass of iced tea. My friend Rosie puts two lemon slices in each cup of iced tea she makes. She uses a total of eight slices. How many cups of iced tea did Rosie make? I'm going to draw this out. Here is my first cup with one, two lemon slices. I know she used eight, so we have to keep going. More iced tea. Here's another cup with the third and fourth lemons. Another cup with the fifth and sixth lemons. And here's one more cup with the seventh and eighth lemon slices. That's all of them. So, how many cups of iced tea did Rosie make? Rosie made one, two, three, four cups of iced tea. Now, which number sentence represents this diagram? These columns show us the number of lemon slices Rosie used in each cup. Remember, columns go up and down. We have eight lemon slices in total. But what is the unknown here? In the original problem, what are we trying to solve? We're looking for the number of cups Rosie made. And in this example, that is the eight total lemon slices divided by the two lemon slices in each cup. So how would this array help us find eight divided by two? Well, we can count up the number of columns to see how many groups of two there are. One, two, three, four. Four times two equals eight. So eight divided by two equals four. Now, I'm going to recolor these lines. Which of the colors represents the individual cups? Each of these green boxes represents our individual cups. One, two, three, four. By visualizing our problem this way, we drew a tape diagram. Now, what if Rosie had used three lemon slices in each cup? and used a total of 12 lemon slices. Which of these tape diagrams would represent that problem? Well, we know we want cups with three lemons in them, and there are 12 total lemons. So, 12 divided by three equals four. Our tape diagram would look like this. Let's look at one more together. Ms. Alves puts 21 papers in seven piles. How many papers are in each pile? Our first step is to find the unknown. What are we looking for here? We are looking for the number of papers in each pile. That means we are looking for 21 divided by 7. Next, I want to draw an array to help visualize this. Which of these arrays represents 21 divided by 7? We are placing papers in seven piles, and we have 21 total papers. So I will make seven columns and place 21. Here is our diagram. Now we're ready to solve. How many papers are in each of the seven piles? Here are our seven piles, and each one has three papers in it. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. Miss Alves placed three pieces of paper in each pile. Great work! Now we know how to use arrays to help us visualize division problems. Try solving a few of these on your own. <laughs>